Welcome, welcome, uh, Bombini. <laughs> welcome uh, here at uh, NWO, it's de Nederlandse organisatie voor wetenschappelijk onderzoek, de Dutch Research Council. Um, we will do this conference in English, um, so uh, everybody around the world can follow us. Uh, we are very happy to have you here. You uh, registered in big amounts for this conference, and that was for NWO uh, a confirmation that this conference was really needed. So we, 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 we really um, are very happy to have you here and invite you all to participate this afternoon. What are we talking about? About expanding scientific research in the Dutch Caribbean. Well, this sounds very nice, and it's also really meant to um, help us all um, create new opportunities in the Dutch Caribbean. Um, my name is Tanja Frey. I'm a director of uh, We Connect, and uh, We Connect is an educational foundation. We are based here in uh, Holland. Uh, we have been active for well, almost six years. One of our adviseurs is here, Winnie Filippo. My co-founder, Mike Ho, is here. He is also taking pictures. If you don't want to be in the pictures, some of you mentioned that, just say no to Mike. My other colleague, Manu, is sitting in, in the back. And in short, uh, we connect is um, building on capacity. It's doing capacity building for these six islands. So we stimulate uh, some of you, uh, young Caribbean professionals. Maybe you want to be researchers in the future. We stimulate this and stimulate you to go back to one of these six islands to help build the labor market, the the societies. Um, Okay, uh, why is NWO or, uh, organizing this um, conference today? Three reasons. Mainly to inform you. First of all, to inform you. Um, the Dutch Research Council has recently changed its granting rules. And as a result, universities in the Caribbean part of the kingdom qualify for NWO research funding. Many details will follow. And feel free to ask questions. The second reason is to update you about the current NWO Caribbean Research Program. I think many of you may already know this research program, and it will continue the coming years. And this implies a structural reinforcement of the knowledge system. And third of all is to network, um, to bring you together. So I will make sure Um, we will uh, finish around 4, 4 15, 4 30, so we can have drinks and you can meet each other and, and network. Um, the meeting today here in Den Haag uh, is being uh, live streamed, broadcasted. broadcasted. Um, so uh, we can say, uh, Bon dia, it's still morning, it's early in the, in the Caribbean. We, we, we can say, uh, Bon dia to our, uh, to our guest. On uh, Aruba, Curaçao, Bonaire, Sint Maarten, Seba and Stacia, who are hopefully also uh, watching. Um, and um, I think this is a very good way of sharing knowledge. Um, this is the first meeting of three. The next will be in Curaçao, end of October. And the uh, uh, third conference will be in Aruba. Also, the week of last October, well, end of October, 1st of, of November. Uh, NWO is hosting these conferences. Uh, we Connect will travel with NWO, which is very nice. Um, and we will, we will organize these conferences with the University of Curaçao and with the University of Aruba. So if you have any uh, contacts in your network, you can... Uh, um, update them and tell, the, the, tell them that NWO is definitely coming to the islands. Okay, a few practical announcements. Um, yeah, if you could please switch your uh, mobile on silent. There is, of course, Wi-Fi here, and please feel free to share any comments. I will put the Wi-Fi for you. Um, yeah, this is the name of the network, and this is the Wi-Fi code. So, yeah, please feel free to make a post. And NWO is on Facebook. We connect us on Facebook. Um, it's a nice way to 
share. Um, yeah, so if you uh, could please switch off the sound of your phones. And um, yeah, Mike will be taking some pictures, but really in a very modest way. And we will send these pictures to the um, journalists, to the newspapers on the islands, on the six islands. So they will also know that this conference has been here today. Um, okay, the program, I will go back. The program, I think you all have a handout of the program, just to make sure. I will be really short, so we will have more time for other people. Um, this is me, then. Um, the revised granting rules, of course. It will be explained to you by different people. We have three very uh, charming, uh, young female researchers here today. Stacy McDonald from Leiden University. Stacy, welcome. Marielle Ozinga, all the way from Groningen. And hey, where is Lisa? Oh, it's good, sorry. Yes, then we have a break. And then we have Lisa, of course, from Wageningen University. They already have experience with NWO funds. So they will share um, their research knowledge, of course, but also will share their experience uh, with working with the local orga organizations on the islands, for example. Okay, we'll have a break. And then uh, after, after the break, the new development regarding the NWO Caribbean Research Program, and we will make sure to have enough time for your questions. Yeah? Okay. Well, I think that's all for me right now. Yeah, the Wi-Fi code, and I am going to... Yes, everybody has it. And I will make sure... Yeah, to introduce the first speaker the the openings speech really um, that is given by Wim van den Doel, Professor Wim van den Doel, a member of the executive board of NWO and member of the NWO program committee committee for Caribbean research. Um, he will have to leave sh uh, shortly afterwards because he has a flight to Jakarta this evening. So uh, we're really happy to uh, have you here. Um, Meneer van den Doel, after you. You can just gewoon doorklikken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yes, my name is Wim van den Doel. I'm member of the executive board of NWO. I hope everybody hears me. Or this is perhaps better. Yes. Okay. Good. Great. Well. It's great to have you all here. It's, uh, it's great to see you in uh, such uh, numbers over here. And we, of course, we have an indefinite number uh, through the uh, live stream uh, uh, present. Um, because, well, it's very good that, we, that, that, that you are present here because this is an important meeting. I think it, you can even say it's an historic meeting because we really go to the next st level of uh, uh, research collaboration and research funding uh, in the Dutch Caribbean. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be here and to, to say something about uh, what you will hear in much more detail uh, during, uh, during the day. Um, of course, we have a history. Uh, in 2012, already was decided that there uh, um, uh, was funding for Caribbean research or um, uh, research which strengthens uh, also the uh, research collaboration between the Caribbean and, and the Netherlands, but also focuses on, on topics uh, which rela are, are related to the, uh, the Caribbean. It was funded uh, by the Ministry of, uh, of Education and, uh, and Science and Culture. Um, there were two open uh, calls in 2014 and 2016, and I think we see uh, three uh, recipients of, uh, of the, uh, the calls uh, here present, so you will hear more about what's going on in these two, uh, two calls. But we then thought in, at NWO, uh, together with others, that, well, this was is also very, very nice, the two calls, but can we do more? Can we go the extra step? So. Well, let's say this is phase two. Somebody called it phase one and phase two, but it's we are going really into a new direction. Two things, uh, which will be explained uh, in much more detail during the day. We took some generic measures, and uh, we took some specific uh, measures. 
Okay, the generic measures. It's very, in the end, it's all very simple. Um, because in uh, the NWO's regulations and in our um, subsidy reglement, so the, the, the governing text with regard to our, our funding, it said, who are eligible? Nederlandse universiteiten. Well, if you change that into universiteiten gevestigd in het Koninkrijk der Nederlanden, suddenly, so a few words, but suddenly everything changes, at least, at least with regard to Caribbean uh, uh, research, because now people uh, em employed by the universities uh, in the Dutch Caribbean are also able to um, uh, submit their proposals to NWO. And this is also a very important word, all. All funding lines, because today you will focus on the Caribbean program, so the 2 million euros, uh, which is available especially for Caribbean uh, 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 projects. But the, just a few the change of the few words, so Nederlands Universiteiten to univers universities in the Kingdom of the Netherlands, this implies that everyone uh, employed by the Caribbean universities can access funding in all our instruments. And all our instruments, that's not 2 million euros, that's in total, let's say, 900 uh, million euros. So that's an enormous opportunity. So the talent program, the Veni Vidi Vici program, is now open uh, for any, everyone uh, in the Caribbean. We also have the open competition. Each of our domains have an open competition. So you can simply submit your proposal and get one PhD out of the out of the proposal or a team, depending on what you want. But all our instruments are open. Also, the national research agenda, you heard, you heard about it perhaps, is also open to uh, uh, sub submissions from the Caribbean. So this is the generic uh, measure we took. That's why I called this meeting a historic meeting, because this is a very just a few words, but it's, it's I think, very uh, important and very, very historic, I think. Okay, the specific uh, measures, um, which will be explained in much more detail than I, I will do, because we will, because since there is this open competition uh, available to anyone, we will not uh, uh, um, uh, do a open call like the, the other two calls. Uh, which were just, in a way, well, they had to be Caribbean, they had to be interdisciplinary, but in, they, they were open with regard to the topic. And everyone can now go to the open competition and, and, and get funding for such a project. So what to do with the 2 million euros? Well, actually, we said, let's focus, let's give it a, uh, give it a more focus than, than in the other two uh, programs. So we hope that we can uh, establish two research groups, teams, um, who will get, over a period of, uh, of five years, a considerable amount of money, because that's five million years in total. Of course, it's one million a year, but that's five million, if you think about it in total, that's bigger than our Vici uh, grant, for instance. So it's a super Vici grant, perhaps, you can call it that way. So this is all, again, this is a historic moment. We hope to have two, two, two major teams, so with two principal investigators. And of course, they will be selected through an NWO call. You will hear about it, uh, uh, more about it um, um, uh, today. Um, it says in the range, the range of Vici, but it's actually more. Huh? It's, if you think about it, it's even bigger than a Vici grant. So it's, it's, uh, we hope it is, it's, uh, it's, it, it will inspire people to uh, to uh, to submit. We hope um, those teams will be working on the Caribbean, and so we hope also through that the people are there. It also uh, strengthens uh, uh, the, the the regional capacity. Okay. Call expected for the autumn of two thousand nineteen. Um, when, when does the autumn start? Uh, 21st of uh, September. 
So from the 21st of September onwards, I think in an earlier slide it said September, uh, but I think September is still in the autumn. Huh? Yeah. So so we we hope to have it have it in September uh, 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 open uh, 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 for 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 everyone who wants to wants to submit. I look to our NWO uh, people who have to do this. So uh, we make a definition. September is also still in the autumn. Yes. So after the summer, uh, you you will be you will be able to submit your proposals for these two uh, two teams. Um, we hope that this really makes a change uh, on the Caribbean, on the Dutch Caribbean. That there will be two major groups there, teams working on on issues which are relevant, uh, relevant for the Caribbean. So it that should be in the framework of small island development uh, states uh, agenda. So it's it's it, it is focus. It's it's. Uh, um, uh, it, it should be relevant uh, for the societies uh, on the on on the islands. Um, um, so that's one part of my story. Two teams over there uh, working for relevant uh, uh, research, but the other one, of course, is a change of these few words in the, our regulations, which opens up uh, all kinds of other possibilities uh, uh, with regard to Caribbean research, but also for researchers from the Caribbean. And I think that's, that, that, that there are two historic steps. Of course, we have to see what it, how it will, what, what, what type of results will uh, follow. But I think the first step is done. You will hear much more about it uh, today. You can ask everything you want to know about these uh, two, two measures uh, today. I wish you a very productive uh, uh, meeting. Uh, I'm sure it will be a productive meeting. Um, <coughs> You are in great hands, so so it will be a, a great day. Thank you very much. And here for the duel, I saw many people uh, making notes. Is it possible to share your? Yeah. Of course. Yes. But, but we have colleagues here yeah. who who will who will. Yeah, we will share. Who will share everything, but who will explain in much more detail what I. Uh, yeah. Just announced, so you will have all the opportunities to ask uh, questions. Yeah. How do you do, how, how the live stream people can can they can they ask questions? How how, uh, how does that no, work? No, non-interactive. Oh sorry. no, non-interactive. No. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. but that, but but we we go to Aruba and Curaçao. So yes, that, and then yes. and, and then it will be interactive. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Just just out of cur yes, curiosity, yes. you're flying to to Jakarta tonight. Yes. Uh, exciting. East Indies. East yes. Um, we um, uh, have a uh, joint uh, research program with Indonesia as NWO. We are starting it um, uh, today and uh, we will try to expand our research collaboration with uh, Indonesia the next, uh, the next week. Okay. Yes? Thank you. Okay. And have a good flight. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. Meneer van den Doel. Um, I think we're going to the clip, right? To, to the film clip. Um, the film clip, we have a video message, it's a bit interactive then, by uh, Professor Glenn Today. Uh, Glenn Today, I think very well known as Director Magnificus of the University of Aruba, but also member of the NWO Program Committee for Caribbean Research. So let's see the Caribbean perspective from uh, Mr. Glenn Today. Moet ik iets doen? Wat? Ik moet hier iets doen. Oké. Okay. Uh, ja? Wat moet dan? De muis. Oh, oké. Okay. En dan? Oh, hier. Ja. Oké. Okay. Hallo, mijn naam is Glenn Tobey en ik ben director van de Universiteit van Aruba. Het Kingdom van de Nederlanden consist uit uh, vier landen. Het is de Nederlanden, Aruba, Curaçao en Sint Maarten. And Aruba, Curaçao, and San Martin as countries reside in the Caribbean region. But what a lot of people don't usually think about is that the Netherlands also has a Caribbean presence because there are three particular entities of the Netherlands, Puner, Sintostatius, and Seba, which also are situated in the Caribbean. So the Caribbean part of the kingdom has four countries. It is very important to do scientific research in these regions so that scientists understand better what is happening in the region, but also 
organizations such as the government but also private organizations can make better informed decisions and that's why it's very important that we do research up to this moment there were not many opportunities to do research in this region because of the lack of finances funds that is why it's so important that the NWO has opened the opportunity for these uh, these areas and also the institutions within these areas to apply for funding for scientific research. Up to this moment we've had the experience as uh, University of Aruba but also I think my partners within the Caribbean area that these funds were not open and available to us because the NWO funds were restricted to the European part of the kingdom. Up when up to now then it was impossible for us to initiate scientific research and apply for these funds. A few years ago the NWO made it possible for us to participate with partners uh, to have access to these funds and to design scientific research. Our experiences with this have been up to now that when we cannot apply ourselves the institutes of the European part of the kingdom are in the driver's seats. With the most current changes that are now upcoming that we can apply ourselves, I believe that it is an important opportunity for the people and the institutions of this region, the Caribbean region of the kingdom, to take initiative. Niels uh, is Niels van den Berg. He's one of the program managers of NWO concerning the Caribbean program. And he will explain more about the granting rules. Niels van den Berg. Thank you, Tanya. Um, let's see if my presentation will yeah. pop up. Um, uh, yes, so we already heard a lot about this change in the granting rules. So smart, small change, large implications. And these implications, actually, what do they mean in practice? These are questions that are mostly relevant for the people employed at the universities in the Caribbean. So most Dutch researchers already are familiar with this. Um, so we will have these meetings also in the Caribbean in which we can really interact on all the details. But we have a very diverse audience now and maybe also through a live stream and not everybody is familiar with NWO. So I will briefly introduce NWO and how our granting system works. And this could also be relevant for the researchers actually at the Dutch universities because this change in the granting rules may also provide new opportunities to collaborate with the universities in the Dutch Caribbean. So it's also relevant for these researchers. Um, yeah, so the small change um, so what's NWO for people who are not that familiar with NWO? Um, so we do funding. Uh, funding is in programs. We have calls for proposals where people submit proposals. We also have our own research institutes, so that's the, the funding. We're involved in programming, so in, uh, in national, international research strategy. Uh, the influencing, we support researchers and we try to connect researchers amongst each other and with societal partners. Um, the mission of NWO is to advance world-class scientific research that has scientific and societal impact. So NWO is an independent directive body and, and, and we are following the responsibility of the University of, of the Ministry of Education, Culture and Science. And as Wim already mentioned, we have a large budget. Most of it comes from this ministry, but there's also other um, sources of funding from other ministries of other organizations. Um, so the principle is that most universities in the Netherlands, they receive the largest part of their funding directly from the ministry. And what NWO does is the second flow of money, the additional funding to the universities. And we do this always in national competition. So based on the quality uh, and uh, through independent evaluation procedures. So this gives us the opportunity to select talent, um, to select the best quality research, and also to have some strategic um, um, ways to program. Um, so this is good to realize that it's always in competition. So NWO is set up in different components. Uh, here I just uh, present the 
most relevant ones. So we have three domains, the science domain, uh, the domain social sciences and humanities, uh, applied sciences and engineering, and we have health research at Son and Wei. Uh, then we have VOTRO, which focuses on science for global development. Um, we have NRO, which is embedded in uh, social sciences domain. Uh, and we have SIA, who funds research at the universities of applied sciences. So all these um, components of NWO have their own programs. Some of them uh, cut through all the domains, but there's a big amount of programs and funding. And we can um, summarize them in six um, main lines. So the first one is a talent program. So this is curiosity driven. This is the Vichy, for example, that was already mentioned. Um, then we have our open competition in most of our domains. Um, then we have programs um, that are uh, more strategically thematic, for example, the Dutch National Research Agenda and the programs that uh, contribute to the top sectors. Um, then we have specific programs that are set up in partnerships with external partners. And we have programs that are really um, have a, a, a long-term um, focus, but are really focused on a specific theme like the Caribbean Research Program, but also the, the, the Netherlands Polar Program. And last, we have infrastructure programs. Um, so, as has been mentioned a lot, now the research is at the Caribbean, um, Dutch Caribbean universities, they can apply. So if they have a good research idea, the right network, uh, there's a program that really suits their research idea, they could submit a proposal which will be evaluated in competition and there will be a funding decision. Um, but it actually doesn't mean that everybody can just submit a proposal. There are a little more conditions and I would like to uh, present them here. So to be an applicant, uh, you need to have a PhD or a professional position. That's also included in our regulations. And you need to have a paid position, so not um, a zero hours contract, as we mention, uh, sometimes call it. Uh, so permanent employment or a tenure track position. Um, so if you have a small project or maybe a, a personal grant like the Vici, you apply for it yourself, you are the applicant, you're the main applicant. But if you have bigger projects, you will probably submit them in collaboration with other researchers. So multidisciplinary, maybe between different institutes. And then you could also simply be a co-applicant. Um, so this is also possible. And then you submit a proposal together and the co-applicant receives some of the funding within the project for a PhD or, or, or to, to, to execute a part of the project. Um, in general, we fund staff, which means PhD postdoc positions, uh, material costs, uh, knowledge exchange. Uh, but one thing is really important to uh, note is that in general, we don't fund the salaries of existing staff or your own salary. Of course, there are some exclu exclusions when you have a personal grant, you know, it's like the, the Vici. Or there's an option sometimes to get the, uh, how do you call it, replacement funding. So this is an option sometimes included in goals. So you can be um, um, get funds so you don't have to do your educational tasks and you can focus a little bit more on research. Um, and well, the last thing which is really important to realize is that there's competition and the success rates really, uh, rates really vary. So there are funding programs at NWO that are really competitive uh, and the success rate is low, like around 10%. We aim for 25% and some programs that are really specific or, or require a lot of co-funding demands, then sometimes success rates are even higher and they go up to 30% or even more. So these are things to, uh, to keep in mind. Um, so I would like to uh, end with some, some concluding thoughts. So I, I really think that, that this gives a chance for the, for the universities in the Dutch Caribbean to strengthen their research activities. So when, you, when they already have strong research lines, it really gives them the opportunity, like uh, Glenn said, to be in a driving seat. Maybe if your research line is not as strong, you could collaborate with others and as a co-applicant do receive funding and really start to, to develop this research line further. 
Um, so chances for new and more substantial collaborations. So not only collaboration with your own time, but really so you can receive uh, some funding. Um, hopefully it will provide opportunities for talent uh, to inspire and train students. Uh, and it will, as Glenn also mentioned, uh, you can address societal challenges and strengthen the environment for innovation. Um, but it's also important to have realistic expectations and um, so it's good to realize that the system is competitive and in the Netherlands we've seen a trend of professionalization. So universities uh, have gone through a process of, of, of developing research strategies, planning this and supporting their researchers by granting support offices. Uh, researchers uh, improve their skills in grant writing they participate in selecting committees so they can see how committees select research proposals, so you learn from that. Um, you need a strong track record, good collaborations, and uh, last but not least, you need an innovative research idea. Because usually just incremental research will not be very successful in our, in our, in our program. So it depends on the, on the focus of the program, of course, but that's a, a general uh, thing to mention. Um, so, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to say, but I, I think this really, um, um, this small change will, will really provide a great opportunity, and I really hope that it will give you new chances to pursue your, your research idea and to set up uh, new collaborations. Uh, we will see a couple of nice examples later on, uh, but first uh, we will give you the opportunity to ask some questions if, if they are there. And my colleagues Arnold and Joseph will assist me with answering them. Who has a question? It's a lot of information to digest. Yes. Meneer David Finkers. Yes, is, is there also an opportunity for uh, knowledge institutions uh, on the Caribbean to uh, participate, uh, not just universities? Um, I think that's the, the same for the institutions in the Netherlands that are normally not on the default list at NWO, is that you can participate, but then you cannot receive funding for your own activities. Um, however, for example, there are some NWO programs like the National Science Agenda, which is much wider in the scope of, of, of uh, letting research organizations uh, um, participate. So maybe this could also be an opportunity. Uh, I must mention that the science agenda is very competitive. Uh, there are a lot of proposals being submitted. Mm -hmm. Joseph Stuffer, yes. If I uh, may add something to that. Uh, like in the Netherlands, we also uh, have in the, in the Caribbean part of the kingdom uh, the possibility that the uh, knowledge uh, institutions other than universities, they have a uh, part-time um, professors or part-time um, uh, scientists working at the university. By this, they also have the right, those persons have the right to, to apply for funding with uh, NWO. And that's what we see quite a lot in, in the Netherlands as well. And that is an opportunity for the, for the Caribbean, uh, for the islands, to build a strong network. So it will take some time to set this up, but there are Quite, a, quite good uh, opportunities there. Yes. Wouter, Wouter Veenendaal. Yes. Thank you, I have two questions. One is out of curiosity, because you said the deadline for applications is probably gonna be September, and you'll be visiting the islands in October. So I was wondering about the, the sequence of that. <laughs> I mean, it sounds not really logical to me. And the second question is, you mentioned that uh, uh, in the Netherlands, uh, researchers have a lot of uh, ex uh, experience with applying for funding, being part of MVO committees. So how does this work in practice if people from Caribbean universities who don't have that much experience with that will apply for funding? I mean, to what extent is there a level playing field really between applicants? Your first question um, is that, um, uh, Wim was speaking about publishing the call for proposals. So this doesn't mean that it will be the deadline. Maybe it's still a bit ambitious in September, but at least that's the aim. And then there will be a large period for people to uh, uh, start developing their ideas, set up collaborations before they will submit it. And especially because these grants are very 
complex and not something new, we really need to give people time to prepare. And Jozef will tell more about this second phase later on in the program. And I think Arnold has a reply to your last question. Mm -hmm. Arnold, Arnold Lubbers, yes. NWO. Hi, thank you all for being here. Thank you for the question as well. Um, when it comes to experience in committees, it's a simple task for NWO to invite people on committees. So uh, at least it's one of my tasks next year to compile the Veni Committee for the Social Sciences and Humanities domain. So I will actively try to see if I can get researchers on board from the University of Aruba and Curaçao. It's as easy as that. Uh, when it comes to the track record of potential applicants, um, NWO is working towards forming a more inclusive type of procedure. We are expanding or restricting our forms in order to um, make it so that different career paths can be assessed in a more equal way. So we're working on that. Okay. Yes? Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, I had a question. So if I understood correctly, um, the proposals will be in groups or are you also allowed to send one individual proposal and my second question is you have to have a PhD in order to send a proposal right um, are you asking about the, the general uh, funding through all instruments or the, the specific the new phase of the Caribbean uh, new phase program? of the Cari Caribbean do I um, then have to let's say uh, collaborate form a group in order to be able to apply for a proposal in the Caribbean or are there also going to be calls for individual projects related to the Caribbean as uh, as Wem van den Doel said there will be no open call uh, for uh, standalone individual projects but there will be a call for for a ma for setting up a major group or scientific program but uh, as Wem also said uh, we consider this uh, we consider um, uh, allowing um, uh, Caribbean universities to, uh, to submit um, uh, their proposals. So that is actually the, the, the way to, um, to give the opportunity to, uh, to submit uh, uh, individual proposals. So that is uh, the generic measure and a specific measure we mentioned is more uh, directed uh, towards uh, bigger initiatives. I will tell a little bit about that uh, later on. Yeah. If, if I may ask, so please save all your questions for uh, the continuation of the, the Caribbean Research Programme for later on, because in that later on the programme, Joseph will tell more about that, and then we can ask questions about that. Let's now focus on the generic measures. Yeah. Well, for, for some people, like your master or bachelor student, right? No, master. Master student, yeah. So this is maybe a bit new and a bit, uh, yes. Um, other questions, please, yes. Charnice Trinidad, she's from the cabinet of Curaçao. Yes, thank you, Tanya. Um, is there a maximum amount for an application? And is a uh, personal contribution, is an eigen bijdrage, is it necessary? Uh, the amount you can request for a project really depends on the, on the instrument, on the program. So there could be small ones in which you request budget for one PhD. Uh, there could be really big ones in collaboration which could be up to a million or more than a million euros in which you have multiple PhDs and postdocs and, and more and material investments. So it really depends on the, on, on the program, on the, on the instrument. And the own contribution, um, it's always possible for a university to, if, if you reach the limits of what you can ask f in a project, then maybe if you need more to complete that research, you can just add that yourself, or you can find a partner. The, some of our programs actually require you to have a partner from a private or a public organization that in-kind co-funding or with uh, in-cash co-funding. So it really depends on the, on, on the program. But is not most of the times it's not necessary, not required. But you always do an investment. You have to write the proposal. Proposal. If you get a PhD, a project, you will invest your own time in it. So the university always puts in an own contribution by providing supervision, and I don't know. There's lab facilities. There's there's a lot of things that you always add to the project. Yeah. Any more questions? Yes. 
Yeah, thank you. The universities in the Caribbean often have a lack of facilities. You mentioned lab facilities. Is it also possible to qualify for money to build facilities? So there is an infrastructure program line within uh, MWL, but is it possible to get money for that? Yes, I think so, because uh, all the funding instruments of uh, NWO are open for all universities within the Kingdom of the Netherlands. So nothing, uh, no funding line is excluded from this general rule. So it is also possible to uh, apply for infrastructure, scientific infrastructure. And of course, uh, different uh, rules and, and uh, will apply to that, but that is uh, just uh, the same as for other programs. Yes. Yes. And, and to add is in, on a project base, you can always ask for some material costs for, for small equipment. So that might not be enough to really set up a whole lab, but it always provides some opportunities to start building up some, some, some infrastructure capacity. Tatjana Becker from Aruba. Thank you. Um, do co-applicants, um, are they able to be part of different proposals? If they are asked in different proposals. Yeah, so if I understand correct, you, your question is if applicants can be uh, involved in different uh, proposals. Um, yes, usually on a, on, in one instrument, in one program, there's a limitation. Like you can be one main applicant and you can, in addition, be a co-applicant. Uh, but if there's another program and your research also fits in that program and they're more or less at the same time, usually there's no restriction of submitting another idea to the other program, right? So, and within the same funding round, so if you would have our open competition, you are not allowed to have two proposals at the same time, but as soon as one proposal has been processed, granted or rejected, then you could probably start a new one. So that's more or less the idea. So you have the level of one program. Yes, there's usually limitation. And then you have the broad scope of different programs and you can be involved in different programs. Yes? Any more questions? No at this moment? Okay.